What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another Texic 3 video and today I got some tips and tricks to help you improve your Texic playing experience. Let's break them down. So starting with the very first tip and trick, I have the computer mod from Mr. Crayfish. And uh, as you guys can see, if you get some emeralds, such as things, uh, we need to get some emeralds, we can actually buy terracotta. So if you guys want terracotta for literally one emerald for 16 blocks, you can buy it. Also, you can buy soap touch for eight emeralds. Uh, rockets, not very good, but they're all right. Bottle of enchanting, one iron ingot. And uh, this is like a pretty nice resource if you actually want to buy some terracotta. Just way easier like it is. I got 16. All right, moving on to number two. We have the hammer and the shovel, the iron diamond hammer and the diamond excavator. That's basically a shovel. This can actually mine a three by one by one area. Uh, I don't know if that's right. It's close enough, right? But anyways, you just mine it. Look at that. Boom, it's gone. And it's going to mine it like that because I'm a creative. I'm sorry. But if you actually crouch, you can break one block and you can do whatever you want. Same with the shovel, it breaks a 3x3 three three area. And if you crouch, it breaks up one by one. But uh, yeah, this is how you craft it. That's also how you craft it. And that's how you craft the computer over there. The computer's kind of expensive, but it's alright. Moving on to number three, we have an easier way to transport mobs. Not just villagers, but villagers are one of the most annoying mobs. So we have a few different options. We have the golden lasso right here. Uh, this one is more expensive as it costs 8 XP, but it's a pretty cheap recipe all around. This one's pretty expensive uh, as well. It's got plastic, which is very expensive if you don't know how to craft it. It's got a gas tier. And this one is a solarium ingot. Or a solarium soul vial. <laughs> Sorry, that's a solarium ingot. And some quartz infused glass. Uh, there might be different recipes to actually craft these items, however... These are just the ones I decided to go with. Um, this you can find in the end very easily. And these you can actually find pretty much everywhere. There's no like particular place that I recommend. Like you find it in the overworld in like chess. Just want to show you that if you actually crouch, you can actually pick them up. And uh, see that? Oh. Apparently the soul vial duplicates it. But yeah, he is in here if I just place him down. There he is. So next on our list is the advanced enchanting table and also the magical books. So the advanced enchanting table has a very cool feature of if you take out a sword, you can actually choose the enchantment that you want. It makes it way easier. However, as you can see, it costs 606, 656 XP to actually uh, put XP boost 3 on this. However, if we go to the advanced enchanting table with the enchanted books and we go to XP boost and it only costs 510 so it's slightly cheaper it just costs you some levels any bookshelf and a gold ingot plus 4 XP and you have yourself one of these and uh, gold ingots book and quill uh, normal enchanting table obsidian eye of ender and four gold ingots and you got yourself an advanced enchanting table moving on we have the painting machine from ender.io and uh, you can actually make uh, concrete stairs, concrete slabs, and just a normal concrete block. But this is the recipe. This is kind of expensive, however, it's fairly easy to make if you actually look it up. Um, I just want to show you if you take your cobblestone, because it's pretty easy. Uh, we also have another painting block, which is the redstone lamp, which you can actually convert into... Uh, slabs and stairs. They actually look pretty cool. Uh, although if you actually convert this, I don't think it turns out redstone, but we can test that. Now if you take your concrete and you place that in, and you place your stair in, as you can see, we've already done it earlier, but you can place your things. Alright, let's get out a redstone block. Does this turn on? I'd be very surprised. It does not which isn't very surprising. Got it hooked up to a generator. You do need power. These are electrical iron ingots, and these are like 
stone, biotic, some type. Quartz, diamond, you know. Fancy thing, you're gonna need a, uh, alloy smelter or some type of smelter to actually make that. Just to let you guys know. Next up on the list, we got the sponge tool. Just a sponge. Uh, it is very useful for clearing water and dealing with, like, lava or any type of liquid. Especially oil, because oil is annoying if you just click. See, it doesn't keep spreading and it clears out the area. If we go up here, we can just remove it. It has a lot of durability and it's very cheap to make, so I definitely recommend making that. Alright, moving on, we have the metals chest. Now, this is really good for condensing metals that are compatible with Railcraft. This is recipe uh, anvil, four pistons, and steel ingots. Or steel gears, my bad. And uh, the iron, the ingots or nuggets have to be compatible with rail, Railcraft for it to actually do this. But as you see, the metals chest will actually convert the ingots into full blocks so you don't have to waste time going through that. Now it's picking these first because the tin ingot will be converted. Oh, apparently not. Okay, and uh, in survival for me, this tin ingot has to be converted to a railcraft ingot. However, apparently not the case, but that is a really useful feature. Now the next feature is kind of a joke. Um, if you guys want to make something really cool, this is the golden egg. And it's a pretty straightforward recipe. An egg and eight ingots. If you place your egg down and you wait a little bit, just uh, as you can see, it's starting to spin. Um, I don't recommend putting this near anything you actually want. That is why it's up over here, so I don't ruin everything. I'm not sure what the range is for this. However, it kind of destroys stuff. There we go. It blew up. Look, it is a mini you. This is mini me. If you uh, look, we have the same skin on. Look at how cute he is. He's just a mini version of your skin. He's kind of a douchebag and won't break your torches, but, uh... I mean, it is what it is. You got a mini version of you, right? So now if we go over here... I'm not exactly sure what he can do, but he does stuff. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, over here we have a really, really useful thing if you hate how loud certain blocks are. This is the sound muffler. Very straightforward crafty USB again. It is a note block and a piece of wool. Now if we open this chest up, you hear how loud that is. <laughs> um, if we place down our sound muffler next to the chest, you barely hear it. It limits sound so nice. Uh, moving on to the, our last and final one, we have the mechanical user, or the auto crafter. Mechanical crafter, right? This is a recipe, a dropper resonating redstone. And we got a crafting bench, and you see it's pretty much as straightforward as that. Now we are making compressed cobblestone. So if we have our cobblestone in this chest, feeding it into it with a hopper, and then a hopper below it which will extract it into this chest. We break this, you see the items are getting filled in, and it is slowly making it. However, if I actually put like a stack in the hopper, it starts making it way faster. Like you see how quick that is. And this is just an extremely useful way of like condensing down items or crafting items of any kind. And uh, yeah, it's feeding into a hopper at the bottom. You can actually use pipes if you want to make this even better. Like you can input and output items from it. But yeah, that has been this video. If you guys do have any suggestions for what it, the next video could be like for tips and tricks, I'd love to hear them down in the comment section below. But uh, this has been your boy Lemon, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.